Hello and welcome back to another review, this time for the Fantastic Four. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. And please leave a comment below letting me know if you enjoyed the film or not. The first character I will talk about is Ben Grimm slash The Thing, played by Michael Chiklis. I have decided to talk about The Thing first because in all honesty I feel like he is the main character of the movie. I know that there are obviously four main characters, but I feel like we got more of the Ben Grimm story than anyone else. I like this story arc because he seemed to have the most trouble dealing with his new powers than anyone else because it heavily affected the way he looked. I think personally they did a fantastic job of showing the fact that you can be judged so harshly just based on the way you look. The only problem I have with this is the fact that we never get to see him truly accept his new look. Like all they do is just have him change back to the thing when he needs to save his friends, but they don't really have a resolution to him accepting the fact that he's different and I wish that they showed an end to that. The next character I'll talk about is my favorite character and that is Johnny Storm, played by Chris Evans. I really like him here because he's just a goofy person and he reminds me a lot of myself considering how he reacts to getting superpowers. Honestly feel like he's the most realistic character out of everyone besides Doctor Doom just because of how he acts. He's very goofy and picks on the thing a lot which is quite fun. I also like his character because he seems to accept the fact that he literally turns into a human torch and just goes with it. Meaning that he can accept his new powers for what they are and not worry about anybody judging him. The next character is Susan Storm, played by Jessica Alba. I honestly have to say there's nothing much to say about her character, besides the fact that she's basically the mom figure, I guess. I say this because she does kind of keep the other members of the Fantastic Four in check, but otherwise, she seems very angry throughout the movie, and she also seems to be only there to be the love interest which I didn't really enjoy. I know I say this a lot and I feel like a broken record but personally she didn't really feel like an impactful character because she didn't really seem to do that much. She wasn't a damsel in distress, she wasn't a game changing character and it felt like she was just there to be there and I wish we got more out of her character. Next is Reed Richards played by Lone Gruffid. From what I heard in the comics Reed Richards is an arrogant douchebag who always thinks he's right and has a huge ego as well. I honestly didn't see that in this movie. Yes, he had some parts in the movie where he was a little bit of a jerk, especially towards Susan, which I don't know why. Otherwise, he just seemed like a normal guy who just wanted to help his friends get rid of their powers. And honestly, I think that's pretty cool of him to try and help his friends so much. I think the actor who played him was okay, but I don't know, something fell off about this interpretation of Reed Richards. Last but not least is Victor Von Doom, played by Julian McMahon. This is the one character I feel heavily conflicted by. Before I go any further, I want to mention that Doctor Doom is my favorite Marvel villain, so I may be extra picky about this character. They mention Latveria quite a lot but they never actually went fully in depth with that part of his character and I really wish they went more into that. I know Latveria is somewhere in Europe but I'm confused by the fact that Doctor Doom doesn't seem to have an accent in this movie and to be quite honest he just sounds American. Now you can say that his ancestors were from Latveria and he was born in the United States but that was never explicitly said in the movie so I really wish that he had somewhat of an accent. My next issue with his character is his powers. So in this interpretation, he kind of has a disease that makes his skin made out of a special metal that is stronger than diamond. This is cool in theory, but I would have much rather him have been in his suit of armor because I think he could have made a cool suit of armor. The way I could have seen it go down better was if he got all of his powers except the electricity and the harder than diamond skin and during the end when he had his suit of armor on he was in that fire tornado 
and then all of his armor could have latched to his skin. For me that would have been a lot better to do it this way, because we would have had his suit of armor and his powers would have been more realistic. Not to say that they needed to be realistic, but a little more accurate to his character. What I did like about this interpretation was his cockiness and attitude. I almost feel like this is what Mr. Fantastic should have been like, but honestly this personality suits Doctor Doom best. He is very egotistical and always wants more power. No matter how much power he has, he always needs to have more. And I think that is perfectly in line with his character. I think they got his personality done pretty well. I like how they show us the real aspect of how society would react to heroes like this. I like this because it feels realistic, because let's be real, if we saw superhumans like this in real life, they would be trending on Twitter, they'd be all over the news, and we would be praising them because, well, they're heroes. I wish they added more to this where they had people that didn't like them, because that would have had made it feel even more realistic. But I understand that this movie was set up for the characters to be the good guys and to show that the world likes them. So I guess having that negative aspect might have ruined the fun of the movie, I guess. It honestly didn't help in the movie that Johnny was so excited to be followed and being a celebrity. But otherwise, I think it was a pretty good part of the movie. And I really like that they showed that. Come to think of it, I wish they did it more in Marvel movies. I know they did it in Iron Man 1 and 2, mostly, but after that, it just kind of stopped happening. And it was a shame because in real life, there would be a lot of fans. So hopefully they start doing that in Marvel. I like the humor in this movie, mostly when Johnny was picking on Ben. It was funny to me because they really liked to pick on each other, and it made it feel like they were actually brothers fighting each other. I think it shows that the two actors probably had good chemistry just because it felt so real when they were bickering at each other. So I think that's what made it better. Also, the humor was not overbearing in this movie at all. And it seemed like back in those days, they knew how to balance humor with seriousness. And I wish more movies did that nowadays, especially in the MCU. There's only one really big negative that I saw in this movie. And that was the second half of the movie. I feel like the biggest part of the second half of the movie was the Fantastic Four getting tired of each other. During this part they went their separate ways and the movie started to drag a little because then we had this conflict with the Thing and the other guys and I feel like the Thing was too easily brainwashed. I understand that the Thing was feeling bad about himself and stuff but he should have been smarter than that to realize that Victor was up to something and that he should have denied the transformation back to human form. For some reason though, after all this conflict, they suddenly team up together like nothing ever happened and they don't even reconcile with each other and they don't have a scene where they talk it out with each other to figure out what's going on and that they realize that they need to be a team. What actually happens is that something bad happens and then they all team up together like nothing happened and save the day. This movie is not great nor bad. It's just an average Marvel movie from 2005. As you can tell, there really wasn't that much to talk about because it just felt like an average movie that had a bunch of people in a freak accident who team up and save the day and defeat the main villain. You can tell that it's mostly geared towards children, which is not bad at all. It just makes it feel average yet again. Because of all this, I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. I personally don't consider that a bad score, because honestly it's a fun movie to watch. Especially if it's on in the background, and you can get a giggle or two. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments section below whether you like the Fantastic Four or not. And please, leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more reviews like this. And thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next review.